The metric class of 2023 defied all odds to achieve a pass rate of 82.9%. This was announced by the Minister of Basic Education, Enji Moteha, during the ceremony of the National Senior Certificate Results announced rather announcement held at the Mosaic Church in Randburg last week Thursday. Now, the cohort's pass rate shows an improvement of 2.8% compared to the 80.1% in 2022. This is the highest national pass rate since 1994. Bahai Sudu good evening. My name is Tabo Malukwani. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight, we are joined in studio by one of Soweto's top performing schools, St. Matthew's Private Secondary School, situated in Robville, which is also a top three of Houteng's top independent schools. First up, we're joined by the principal of the school, Principal Eva Skosano, joining us in studio this evening. Principal, thanks very much for taking the time. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Much appreciated. You know, I want to start by, um, you know, just saying congratulations for your incredible performance. Thank you, thank you. As a school. <laughs> thank you. Uh, you know, um, I, I, I just want to get your feeling as a principal. I mean, obviously, you must be over the moon. It was overwhelming because, you know, um, you have a group that you think they've been through the worst. I mean, this is the group that was in grade eight or grade nine when it was COVID yeah. and they had to come to schools in shifts and all that. And it was stressful, you know, to, to anticipate the best. But we did our best and we believed in them and we prayed for them. And when we got the results, it was just unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you've been performing for quite some time now yeah. uh, as a school. Maybe talk us through how do you do it as a school? Okay, what we do is we have, um, we have uh, student leaders, right? The, they are metric leaders. And we have one of the categories of the student leadership is outreach, where you have learners who are helping each other. Because we believe that if learners are in the same age group they they listen better to each other than mm. to teachers sometimes they are afraid to talk to teachers so we have that we have extra classes we have we send extra material to them via whatsapp so we do that and mm. some of the learners um together with their parents they they engage in uh, tutoring so that also helps mm. yeah um, um you know, uh, you did highlight that uh, these learners are the uh, cohort that uh, mm -hmm. you know was uh, severely affected by mm -hmm. COVID nineteen mm -hmm. in the last few years mm -hmm. when they were doing grade nine. Grade nine, I think it was um, grade nine. Yeah, mm -hmm. grade nine. Uh, you know, I want to know um, the type of selection that uh, you do as a school because obviously some somehow uh, it you know translates to the results that you are having okay. as an independent school. Uh, there, uh, I mean, in in, in so it. Okay. Uh, how do you do selection? Uh, because obviously somewhere, somehow, you know, there has to be some sort of a criteria mm -hmm. to get those best students. It's not mainly best students, but what we do is each learner who enrolls at our school, they, when they're in grade eight or grade nine, um, what they do is we have an assessment test, an English and maths assessment test that is marked independently and then those people are the ones who select the learners. We do have worst case scenarios mm. and we work through with them. Mm. Mm. So in your school, I mean, how, how difficult is it, you know, running an independent school? Obviously it <laughs> must be a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It is a lot of work because you have to deal with parents who sometimes tell you that I pay fees, so you have to do one, two, three. But um, working with a strong SMT helps a lot. That is the school management team. We, I have those and we have teachers who are dedicated, who help us through it. And you have other parents who, you know, they adhere to the code of conduct. I think the other thing that helps us to be able to perform like this, it's because we have a code of conduct and we follow the code of conduct. Parents sign the code of conduct. Mm -hmm. So that if a child misbehaves or does not perform or what, we refer to the code of conduct and they know that if, if I get so many demerits, then that means I'm out and parents don't want that to happen. So mm -hmm. they become strict to their kids. 
Yeah. Just lastly, Principal, before mm. I let you go, I mean, okay. obviously you've got an advice for other schools out there because I know that uh, they will be watching. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, more like a best practice, if I may okay. put it that way. Um, how, uh, what would be the advice that you would give to other schools out there so that they can be able to perform like your school? What is it uh, that they need? The formula. I know, sure. I mean, they won't have it uh, <laughs> as it is, but as it is, somewhere, yeah. somehow you... you our formula, awesome. yeah, our formula is dedication from learners. It actually starts with the SMT. It starts with me, the SMT. Uh, it infiltrates to the teachers. And once that happens, the kids pick it up. You know, if there is disconnection within the, the, the staff, the kids pick up and they manipulate the whole situation. Mm -hmm. So once they see that if I go to this teacher and he gives me or she gives me the same answer as the other one, they know that there's no leeway. So they follow suit and they work hard. So it's that, it's a Catholic school, we pray a lot. We have RE as one of our religious education as mm. one of our subjects, and it's a compulsory subject, even though they don't write an exam. But it teaches them morality, discipline, and just to be dedicated. I think that's the formula that we have. And also having, uh, we collaborate with parents, and when once parents are in power, then everything goes. Principal, much appreciated for coming this much. evening. Congratulations once more. Thank you so much. Thank right. you. That was uh, St. Matthew's Private Secondary School Principal uh, Ms. Eva Skosana talking to us about the school's journey towards obtaining a whopping 100% uh, at the 2023 metric pass rate there. Uh, let us take a quick breather. We're coming back after this as we speak to top achiever Spessy Klimnambo. Uh, do not go anywhere. Do stay with us. Welcome back, you're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. My name is Tabo Mulukwane. If you just tuned in, tonight we shine the spotlight on uh, one of the Soweto's top performing schools in the 2023 National Senior Certificate, which is also top three of Houting's top independent schools, and that is uh, St. Matthew's Private Secondary School in Soweto. Before the ad break, we spoke with the school principal, Ms. Ivas Kosana. And now let's send attention to Spesi Klimlambo, who is uh, the top achiever at the St. Matthew's, as well as Houting's top achiever. Spesi, Spesi thanks very much for taking the time Good evening. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Congratulations. I know, um, you know, you've received uh, seven distinctions. Your school has achieved over 103, I mean, just 103 bachelor pass rate. I mean, that is, uh, you know, excellent uh, from you guys there. But I want us to, before we can get into the conversation, maybe just talk us through your emotions when you received the results. Uh, you know, when you saw that actually uh, I'm a top achiever, I've got seven distinctions. Um, I, I think I knew that that was where I was uh, heading to because I've always been consistent uh, from term one until term three. So seven distinctions was an expectation. However, what I expected the least was being invited to the provincial awards. Um, it's always been my dream. But after writing my final exams, I think I had a conversation with myself where I told myself, I did not make it through and when I got the call from um, my principal that we've been invited to the provincial awards I was very proud of myself. I was in disbelief at first but I think more than anything with um, given the hard work that I've put in I think I deserve it. I want us to talk about that hard work now. Um, what was going on throughout the year? Um, you know um, uh, your whole experience for the whole year yes you're saying you've been consistent throughout uh, all the terms there what went into that preparation right so um i think before at my school we did not have awards it's something that started in 2023 but i think after completing my grade 11 i i told my parents that i've never received an award for my academic excellence previously but i made a promise to myself that the very first time that i will receive an award will be at the provincial awards and I had to work towards that. It took a lot of sacrifice. I had to sacrifice things that I had adjusted to in previous grades. I had to change the mindset that I had, the people that I hanged around with. I had to cut down on the hours that I slept. Um, it, was, it was a whole different process. But um, also my parents uh, made sure that even the house chores, they try to reduce that so that I could focus more on my studies. Mm. Which subject are you? I, I mean, I, I assume that you're doing either science, 
um, which group of subjects did you choose and then also when did you decide on them? Um, I know obviously sometimes you know you start thinking about them at around grade uh, nine and, and, and stuff but when did you realize that these were your subjects? Actually that's a interesting story. Um, in grade eight, grade nine I was never a bright learner. Um, I think with me a 50% was more than enough. Yeah. Seeing promoted in my reports was more than enough and I remember when I chose um, the science stream mixed with accounting so many people discouraged me, not because they did not think that I had the you know, ability to perform well, but I think it's because of they saw my previous grades and they were just being realistic. But I think more than anything, at first it was just to prove people wrong. You know when you're at school, there's mm -hmm. just that you know thing about doing science, um, there's just that recognition. At first it was about that. Um, choosing the subjects, I did not even see myself making it through, it was just for status, but I think that's when I fell in love with my books, that's when I fell in love with my studies. Mm. Your support structure, I mean, you're talking about uh, cutting down on quite a lot of things that you usually do, but obviously some, somehow, uh, you know, your family uh, has, you know, uh, played an important role in you achieving this. Talk us through about, uh, talk us through that. Um, um, how has it been, your support structure? I know you're saying that they cut down your chores, or all the control, no study cuts with that much and stuff. Uh, but just talk us through how the support in its, in its entirety. Right, so um, with regards to my family, they were always there. I remember my parents would stay up late with me until I crossed night, until I was okay that understand um, there are some things that um, they did for me. For example, sometimes, you know, I'd explain to them, uh, okay, today, please, no TV because of the noise and whatnot. But they were very understanding. They knew what the goal has always been. And I think also when a parent sees where their hard work goes to, that's when they also, you know, learn to adapt into that different environment. And like mm -hmm. you saying, I'm in matrix, so I, I don't need house chores and whatnot but they can't see where the hard work is going to. And it wasn't only my family, I had, I can say, you know, a, a second family that was Precious Voices, it's a choir that I'm part of, they were always there for me as well. And also my teachers and my tutors, I think I, would, I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for them. Mm. Any future plans now? Obviously you're done with metric. Uh, we want to know now, where are you heading? Career choice wise, um, have you decided on, um, uh, the uh, course that you will be doing, which institution, or are you still looking at this stage? But I mean, uh, you are a top achiever somewhere, somehow, they must be knocking in your door. Yeah, um, I've accepted a medicine offer at the University of Cape Town, and that is where I'll be heading in 2024. Mm. Um, is it funded, um, NSFAS, so, or uh, are you, you're still searching for other sponsors and stuff? I'm still searching for sponsors, for sponsors. currently, no funding. No funding. Yes. Um, what would be the advice that you would give to your peers? Uh, I mean, they, 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 there's a group of young people that were doing grade 11 last year, so now obviously they are in metric. What is that um, key message that you want to give to them? Right. I think one thing that has always carried me through in grade 12 um, is just one quote that I love that if you don't make sacrifices for what you love, then what you love automatically becomes the sacrifice. And I think if you move with that, you'll, you'll be able to see when you need to make sacrifices and when you, you know, need to be a bit hard on yourself. It's always about the dream, you know, it's always about the direction first. It's always about creating the goal and then it's only you just planning on how to execute that and um, reaching there. Mm. Lambo. Congratulations again, and then we hope to see you um, in, uh, you know, uh, uh, one of the, uh, I mean, uh, you know, see you, seeing you in one of the hospitals across the country or maybe overseas, you know, doing very well because medicine is really, really an interesting uh, and a wonderful um, uh, career path there, but much appreciated uh, for thank coming. Thank you, thank you. Especially in Lambo there, uh, you know, saying that, look, I'm still looking for those sponsors. So if you are out there as a sponsor and you would want to um, get in touch with us, do make sure that, uh, you know, uh, you get in touch with the show, email us uh, so that uh, we can be able to assist uh, him as he will be going to uh, 
the uh, University of Cape Town there to study medicine. Our number is simple 081 uh, 8857 That's uh, our line uh, here at Soweto TV there. Just make sure that uh, you do get in touch with us so that we can be able to fund him. Much appreciated for coming this evening. We're going to take a quick ad break. After the ad break, we now speak to Osipesitle's mother. That's Mezane Lambo. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are almost at the end of the show tonight. We've been celebrating the amazing 2023 metric results of St. Matthew's Secondary School from uh, Rockville there in Soweto. We are now joined in studio by one of the parents, actually the parent of uh, Sipesike uh, Mlambo there. That's uh, Mezanele Mlambo who's joining us uh, in studio this evening. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much sir, for having me. I know you must be proud, uh, obviously emotions, uh, you know, uh, you couldn't contain them because, um, you know, he told us that uh, the support that has been going through uh, throughout the year, uh, it, it is now uh, showing in terms of the results there. Um, how proud are you, Sipesil? I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to express my feelings but first and foremost I would like to thank God because we are a praying family we put God first in everything that we are doing I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful I'm, mm -hmm. I'm honored to be here I, I don't know even on Friday I didn't know how I was feeling I don't know how I'm feeling even right now mm -hmm. sitting here I never thought God has been wonderfully I don't know what to say talk us through the journey of parenting a matriculant, obviously that year was very, very structured uh, for you as a family. Uh, maybe if you can tell us, already, um, how did you guys do it as a family um, later, Mr. Yang, until the end? Okay. First of all, we had to cut all the house chores. That was number one. And I had to step in as a maid. I always used to love to say I'm the maid. Mm -hmm. How to all the results to say you must not forget that I was part of that because I never slept. I was uh, literally, I was literally in metric, I can say that mm -hmm. because I was his alarm clock. I would wake up in in the middle of the night and I have to go and see mm -hmm. the AMs, all of that. But uh, I would like to thank also the role that Ntatakai played mm -hmm. in his role as a boy child. Uh, thank you very much. At least I got this opportunity to thank him. Many kids don't have a father figure, yeah. but he's been there since day one and mm -hmm. up until today. So I would like to say thank you very much. Maybe that on his own also helped him who carry a path here, okay? yeah. and, and knowing who he is, I think that was the most important part of, of, of this whole journey. Mm. Um, how important is it for parents, you know, to um, collaborate with schools? I mean, the principal told us already, you guys have been, always been there as parents, supporting your kids. When they call you for meetings, yes. how important is it for the parents or a debating uh, as part of the school, you know, atmosphere or the school structure, if I may put it that way. It, it, it is very important for each and every parent to support their, their, their kids go school long so that you know what kind of uh, uh, things they are going through, have a little school long so that you, you, you can also be part of that. In, in that way, you will also understand what, is, what are they going through so that you can be able to be very supportive. You know what, what is it that I really need. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so in terms of selection, any subject is a high level support. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, young people may be confused most of the time. I can say it's a history or a uh, the sciencing, or I'm even going to do maybe probably the geography, if I may put yes. it that way. How was the support in terms of how I decided? I don't know. This is the subjects, the science subjects that I've wanted. Truly speaking, as a parent, mm. so when he chose these subjects that he wanted to do, I didn't have a problem at all because I know the kind of person that he is. He's very dedicated. He's very when he when he wants something, 
he goes for it. So I didn't have even I didn't have any problem for him choosing this subject because I know what he wanted to do. I I I knew what he wanted, the goal. So I didn't have any problem. I was happy and supportive. Mm. Yes. I mean, obviously, uh, the difficult part now is, uh, you know, letting your child go now. He told us that he is going to the University of Cape Town. Obviously, it must be difficult, uh, you know, to get to that point that, look, I'm letting him go to go and be a man out there. It's very difficult. I was even telling the principal now coming here to say, you know what, I can't let go. I don't know, but maybe it is what it is, especially going to, to, to Cape Town. It's very far for me. Mm -hmm. You know, raising someone for almost 18 years and now you have to part ways with them just like that. But I, I, I trust in the Lord. I trust in the Lord to, to, to take us through. And I know he's going to make us proud also that side because of the person and the child that he is, um, 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 I don't have any problems. Mm. Um, he told us that uh, um, he's still looking for funding yes. uh, for, for, for his studies, his medicine, medicine studies uh, there in Cape Town. Um, um, any uh, you know, plea that you want to give out there to people in business, you know, people who are in different fields to come and assist? I mean, I know obviously you will also apply for the National Student Financial Aid Scheme, but you know, there's going to be more funding that's needed, especially doing such, um, 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 uh, you know, in this field that is very, very expensive. Yes. Any other people that are listening out there, if they can just assist him reach his goal, because I, I, I know what he wants, but the thing is, is, is the funding, it's, it's very expensive. We, 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 we had our budget as parents, but it's, it's too expensive for us. So anyone that can assist him in this regard will appreciate it so much. Mm. Yes. Just lastly, before I let you go, uh, Ms. Anela, um, parting words, I mean, any advice that you can give to parents out there uh, that want their children to also, you know, get to that level of achieving as many distinctions as they can. And also, you know, those that did not make it, um, you know, what is the word uh, of encouragement that you would give to them? And also, just, um, you know, final words that you want to say to your boy, specifically, as he will be embarking on another journey of his life, the, uh, you know, higher education journey there. What is it that you would want to say? Uh, first of all, I would like to take this opportunity and thank my son. Sitle, thank you, thank you very much. I promise myself that I won't. I'm not going to cry. Thank you very much, Sitle, for, 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 for everything that you've, you've done for us. You've been, you've been a good boy. I, I'm not talking this because I'm here, but thank you very much. And I would like to thank God, because if it wasn't for him, we, we were not going to be here. Thank you very much. And for the parents that maybe their kids didn't make it, nothing is impossible. Just support your kids, be there for them, know what they, 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 their interests, what they like, and support them fully and put God first. Everything will work out just fine. Ms. Anelem Lambo, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Congratulations once more to you and your family and the school. Thank you very much for having me, sir. Thank you. It's an honor. There was uh, Ms. Anne Lambo, who is a parent at uh, St. Matthew Secondary School. So, you know, um, uh, the top achiever there is Pesi Lem Lambo, uh, talking to us about her parenting experience uh, to her top performing learner there, and also just giving advice to some of the parents out there. Support, very important, saying that you need to be part of your child's life, you know. Uh, if it means that you have to go back to matric with them at that moment, then that's what uh, you need to do. That's uh, Ms. Anelem Lambo. They're much appreciated for coming this evening. Well, that's how we wrap it up for today's episode of So It's Today. Remember, we love hearing from you. So please feel free to talk to us about this episode by simply sending us an email. It's So It's Today at So It's TV. Alternatively, you can call or WhatsApp us at 081-531-8857. From myself and the rest of the team, Mas Chabakobo, let's up next with your prime time news. Good night and thank you for watching.